Hi everyone, welcome to DIY Ideas. Today I'll show you a really cool baby project. So this is gonna be something pretty interesting and I think new on the channel. So we're doing a teething ring and if you wanna see how you can make one all by yourself, stay tuned. So I will be using my 3.5 crochet needle and my Grundl Baby Uni Wool. So since this is a baby project, I'm using wool that is specifically made for that. So um, this one is actually made for baby projects and I think it's awesome because of it. And here we have the eyes for the teddy and some safety buttons so that the eyes don't fall off the ring when the baby uses it. There are different colors here to choose from and um, you see that I chose the black here. I think that's going to match really nicely. So let's start. I'm doing a double thread. And we are doing 45 chains. Five. So a while later we have 45 chains and now one more for the height. We turn and into the next chain we do a single and we will be doing a single crochet throughout the whole row. So each chain will get one single, pretty simple, and also make sure to watch out for any twists as you work. And now another chain for the height and turn. And again, let's do a row with just singles and we will actually do 15 such rows total. So I finished the 15 rows. This is what it looks like for now. You see it's kind of twisting to the one side and that's what we want as well. So I'll just roll it up all the way now. Here, take a bobby pin and secure it with it. And do the whole row like that and try to make the row stay straight. It shouldn't be too hard to straighten the line. So here is my little rule now. It's all secured and you can check if the lines are straight. So the rows that form these horizontal lines that you can see throughout the whole thing. So let's turn it around now and take a look at these two rows. So that's where we want to crochet a connecting row. So let's take a needle and let's go through both rows and just do simple slip stitches. There we go. Take your time, you will need some patience for this but I'll meet you when I'm done with this step. So, so here I am, you can see now the shape that we have. So let's pull the thread out and tighten. And 
now we need our gardening needle. And let's connect the two ends into a ring. So we will do that by putting them on top of one another and we will weave in the end thread and connect at the same time. So here you see how I'm doing it, feel free to follow my lead. So here is my ring, I hit the end thread as well, and this is the first half of our project. So we will now do our second half, so our teddy bear head, and you can do this any way you like, but anyway, let me show you how I did mine. So I'll take again my double thread and I'll make a little loop. And I'll do six chains. Six, and then go into the last one and connect with a slip stitch. So six stitches total and into each stitch we will do two singles. So now we have 12 stitches and now we'll take another colored thread just to mark where we started the row. And we will now do additions into every other stitch, so every second one. So one stitch will get the single and the next one will get two. And then you go like this till you reach the beginning. Okay, so now we can take out the ring or the marking thread and move it to the next row. And then we will do an additional single into every third stitch. Twenty-four stitches now, so we will do an addition in every fourth row now. And now in every fifth. And every sixth. So we have 42 stitches now and now the next two rows we will do without additions. So we will simply do one single per each stitch we see. Here we are now, so now we're going to lessen the stitches, so each sixth stitch we will leave out. Six and seven. Six 
So through both. Five and six we skip or do together with the next one. In this row, we lessen in every fifth, every fourth, every third. And now we're done. So we have 18 stitches in our current row and we can pull the thread out just a bit. And now we will do the nose and eyes since it's easier to do now than later. And when we do that, we will connect the two halves. Here's my head now. I think I'll do the mouth and ears in a different video, but this is our other half. So let's now get through the connecting. So before that, we We'll make sure to stuff it the way we like it. Okay, so here is my filling. Let me take the threads out. Okay, and let's stuff. You can stuff it so that it's super soft or a bit harder in there, that's pretty much up to you. I think I'm satisfied now, so I'll take the threads and we are still at our 18 stitches. So let's now mark again and we will continue where we left off and we need to do one stitch less in every second existing one. Okay, now we need to pull the working thread out. Works a lot easier when you shorten it first. And let's connect to our ring. We again need our darning needle. Take your ring. I'll connect it exactly where I connected the two ends of the ring and then it won't be as noticeable anymore. Go through the middle. It might be a bit tricky. And pull. Hold it with your fingers and push the thread through a couple more times. Okay, so here we are, our teething ring is done and I have an additional piece that's completely optional, namely a little tail and I'll show you in another video how to do that as well, but the connecting step is the same as what we just did um, with our head. So whatever pieces you want to have connected to the ring, you would do pretty much the same thing that we just did together. So that's our teething ring. I hope you guys like it. Let me know how you did it and if you maybe changed or altered something, I'd love to hear about your own ideas. 
So thanks for watching DIY ideas. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you do want to see more, feel free to subscribe and shoot us a thumbs up. That way you'll stay updated with every new video that we post. I hope you enjoyed this one. Feel free to share with your friends and stay tuned for the next project. Have a great day. Bye.